Hello, hello. Welcome back to Midnight Kitchen. Today, we're finally going to be talking about Hot Pot, also known as a fowo in Chinese, or da binlo as a Cantonese slang for the action of two hot pot. Essentially, you place raw ingredients in a flavorful broth and eat it when it's ready. Today, I'll be talking about an alternative form of pot potting called lazy hot pot. It is so versatile and easy, and anyone can do it at home. For me, hot potting is about friends and family. It is the perfect way to bring people together. However, on a work night or a busy night, you can also enjoy the flavors of hot pot, but not sit around a table and wait while things cook. Remember, the broth helps add flavor to your ingredients. So choosing a broth that you like makes a big difference. Either you can make it yourself or buy pre-made packages of seasoning or broth. For lazy hot potting, I love putting all my ingredients in one tray. It looks nice and it's less to clean up. Remember, Always put in ingredients that are the most hearty and can tolerate a long cook, such as frozen meatballs. If you're a vegetarian, think about ingredients such as bean curd or hearty vegetables like a Japanese squash. If you would like to mimic the real hot pot experience, you can take the meatballs out and consume when they're ready. Next, put in ingredients that take a little bit longer, such as shrimp and fish fillet. The idea with lazy hot potting is you want to time each individual ingredient so that they're not overcooked, but at the same time, you serve everything together at the end of your cooking session. To achieve this, I first cook items that require long cooking and can stand long cooking times without disintegrating first, and then add in seafood, sliced meats at the end, and vegetables, depending on the type of vegetable. For this cook, it was a special circumstance. I had a lot of sliced meat and also quick cooking seafood, and therefore it got blanched at the end and I had to take it out to avoid overcooking. Depending on the size of your party and amount of ingredients, feel free to move the cooked items into a serving plate. You will create more room for ingredients to be cooked. For this particular cook, I had so much razor clam and sliced lamb that I had to cook them all towards the end and therefore I made special batches. But in a normal cooking session, I would just toss in the seafood right before I'm about to turn off the heat and call it good. Remember, this broth is liquid gold. It has absorbed all the flavor from your meats and vegetables. It is perfect for a bowl of noodle soup. Lastly, I add in my vegetables, such as the lettuce from our garden. It really depends though on the vegetables you choose. Some require a few minutes of cooking time and therefore you want to add in earlier. Place 
place your ingredients back, turn off your heat, and you're ready to serve. In other lazy hot pots, I just dump the meat towards the end when the seafood is just about done, turn off the heat, and it's also ready to serve. However, with so much ingredients, this was a special circumstance. Imagine the versatility. It really depends on what you love. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.